My dad uh, had an interesting summer. He yeah. actually um, had a quintuple bypass surgery. He's had a healthy, perfect EKG every year that he's gone in to get his physicals. Yeah. Perfect okay. EKG. Yeah. But what, what found his five hard blockages in his heart was um, a resting stress test because that's what's actually preventative. If you can find that earlier, you don't have to have a bypass surgery. You can, you can sort out those blockages with stents and things that are a lot less invasive. Taylor goes on to say that the stress test caught her dad's blockages just in time and probably saved his life. But you're probably wondering, how can someone with a perfectly healthy EKG still need a quintuple bypass? Keep watching. An EKG, or electrocardiogram, shows your heart's electrical activity and can discover various other issues, including an active heart attack. But blockages of the blood vessels, the problem that Taylor's dad had, wouldn't necessarily show up on an EKG. To check the function and determine if you have coronary artery disease, you'll need additional imaging. A nuclear stress test shows the heart's function, giving real-time images of blood flow to the heart muscle. During this test, a small but safe amount of radioactive tracer is injected into the patient, and then their heart can be imaged at both a resting rate and an elevated rate. The elevated rate can be achieved by exercising on a treadmill or bike or with medication. Their nuclear stress test can identify a decrease in blood flow that may indicate blockage in the coronary artery, a blockage that could increase your risk of having a heart attack. An abnormal nuclear cardiology stress test can guide decisions about treatment that would lower that risk. It can also show doctors the exact areas that aren't getting enough blood flow, measure how severe a problem is, or detect problems with blood flow even if you're not having any symptoms. This is all really valuable information that only a nuclear stress test can provide. It's all about making sure that you're getting the right imaging. So talk to your healthcare provider if you have any questions. And for more information on nuclear medicine, follow us.